Welcome back. Today, briefly, as always, we're going to answer the question, how many diopters do you need? And this is a question that I'm asked a fair amount of times, and it is unfortunately the wrong question to ask. So if you receive this link from me or for somebody else, watch this really short video so you understand why I cannot answer for you how many diopters you need. So here's the deal. How many diopters do I need is one, a very personal question, but two is also the question that would be the main question of your math homework. It's the question that if I can answer it for you and if I will answer it for you, I'm going to make you miss the whole point of the exercise of getting to the part where you can answer that question for yourself. And to make sense of that, the diopters, the first thing you want to understand is how do diopters relate to your vision experience? Right? Like how far can you see with a certain amount of diopters? And how is that relevant to how far you need to see? Like for example, for close up, sorry about the noise, for close up you need fewer diopters than you need for distance. And the question is, well, how many do I need depends on how far do you need to see? You know, like, are you mostly reading books at like this distance or are you looking at a computer screen further away? Lots of little things that play into the question. And, and if you go through the whole exercise, and I'll link some stuff below, of understanding diopters, measuring your centimeters, understanding eye strain, understanding why you don't want to wear distance glasses for close-up, you will eventually arrive at a good first estimate of what you need. And then the website also has the tools to allow you not only to find out how many doctors you need, centimeter calculator is kind of an interesting starting point there, but it also helps you answer to test whether you're close. And there's a bunch of tools. There's, there's you can, you, if you're wearing contact lenses, you can get G plus lenses to test it. Um, you can get a test lens kit. You can estimate and just buy cheap glasses online. By the way, None of this is optometry advice. None of this is prescription advice. This is not advice at all. This is, this is musings. You do whatever you want. Don't drive with the wrong prescription lenses. Don't, don't, just be careful, okay? So anyway, you need to get through all these questions first and then you will arrive in the end at at least a close estimate of what you need. Now, in the Back to 2020 forum, I, do help people with this. Like if you want help with your homework, it's not free, but you can get help with your homework. And also at varying stages of things that you might be unsure of where I can probably give you some more specific guidance, which is really, really helpful, but not critically necessary. Also link below, plenty of people who do it all by themselves. It can be done. It's just not the first thing you wanna mess around with. Like diopters is kind of the end of a whole long story of learning a bunch of stuff. So. Do that first. Like if your question right now is how many doctors do I need, but you don't understand centimeters and you don't have a log and you don't have any of those things yet, you need to start there first. So it's a bit of a journey, but most worthwhile things are. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel and see the links below for a little bit more of a helpful starting point. See you in the next one. So this, this is kind of the central, central part of the coast of Vietnam. And it's probably one of my favorite places in Asia. It's no cars for the most part, very few cars. Everybody rides little motorbikes. There's no, there's no big displacement motorbikes. The traffic's calm. The roads are nice. And then there's this endless, endless, endless amount of beach, just everywhere. 